Now here's a really simple drill and exercise that you can utilize to help improve your golf backswing, particularly if you've got an issue with the plane of your golf backswing. Now, most times I'm stood in the perfect place to help me improve my golf, but actually you might be stood in a better position to help improve your golf just now, because I don't have a wall around here, out on a driving range, out on a practice ground, there's no wall for me to use, but I'm going to imagine there's a wall behind me and the wall is going to be crucial to this drill. So as you go ahead and imagine you're setting up to a golf ball, I want you to flick your club over so you're holding it upside down. The reason will become obvious in a second. Then I want you to back yourself up to a wall. Now the bum will probably touch the wall before the heels, so your heels will just be a couple of inches away and there'll be a wall here. Now ideally a wall without any windows and a wall made of brick that you don't worry about scratching or, or, or damaging. If it's a white painted wall, just be careful. From this position, I want you to feel like you turn the club back and at some point around about here, the club is going to hit the wall. Now ideally, the tip end of the club, this is the reason why we've spun it over so there's no damage, is going to touch the wall around about the height of your head. So you'll swing back and you'll touch the wall about here around about head height. Now the key point here is if you're a very flat swinger of the club and you have a tendency to roll the club inside too much, chances are you will have hit the wall very early. You'll have hit the wall below hip level or certainly below shoulder level and that would be too early in the backswing to hit the wall. That's too flat a swing and it's a really obvious and easy way and it gives amazing feedback to the body because you'll hit it and you'll go, wow, I can't believe I've done that. I need to pick the club up a lot more steeply. Likewise, if you're a very steep and lifty golfer, you might feel like you lift the club up in the air here and you won't hit the wall hardly at all. You might not even hit the wall at the top of the swing. And you'll think, well, why? Where's that wall gone? It should hit at head height. I'm not hitting it at all. I'm clearly making some fundamental errors in my swing. So feel like you turn your shoulders, you lift your hands and arms up. We get a good plane of the shaft here and we should touch the wall around about head height. So spin your golf club over so you don't damage the club head. You don't damage the wall. Turn and touch the wall that's positioned just behind your heel line and that should get you in a great position to improve your downswing. Practice that exercise at home or at the driving range where you've got access to a nice wall behind you and hopefully that'll help you give you great feelings for an on-plane backswing.